Welcome back to Upgrade to General, a series to help you upgrade your amateur radio license to general class. This episode is sub-element G6, question group B, and I'm your host, Ron Call, KE7CR. This question set is more about circuit components. So let's get started with the first question. What determines the performance of a ferrite core at different frequencies? The answer is the composition or mix of the materials used in the construction of the core. Depends on the type of metals, the, the ceramic binders, the iron powder, even trace metals. They all provide slightly different properties for these ferrite cores that uh, change the inductance and the other properties of these ferrite cores. So the answer is the composition or mix of the materials used. The next question asks, what is meant by the term MMIC? Well, IC stands for integrated circuit. MM is a reference to monolithic microwave. So the answer is monolithic microwave integrated circuit. These are integrated circuits that are used in microwave frequencies. Next question, which of the following is an advantage of CMOS integrated circuits compared to TTL integrated circuits? CMOS, C-M-O-S, stands for complementary metal oxide semiconductor, and TTL stands for transistor-transistor logic. CMOS, the advantage they have is actually very low power consumption. The next question is about connectors. What is the typical upper frequency limit for low SWR operation of 50 ohm BNC connectors? BNC are the type of bayonet connector where it's a, it's a push on and twist. It's a quick connect and disconnect. And BNC connectors are really good through the megahertz range up into about four gigahertz. Anything past 4 gigahertz is beyond their limits, so that's the answer. 4 gigahertz is the upper limit. Next question, what is an advantage of using a ferrite core toroidal inductor? The answer choices say large values of inductance may be obtained, and that's true. Another choice is the magnetic properties of the core may be optimized for a specific range of frequencies. That's also true depending on which type of core you get. Remember, there's a variety of cores, and they operate at best at different frequencies, so that's true. The third choice is most of the magnetic field is contained in the core. That's also true, so the answer for this question is all of these choices are correct. The next question is what kind of device is an integrated circuit operational amplifier? Operational amplifiers, or op amps, are analog circuits. They're not digital, they're analog. The next question, which of the following describes a type N connector? Superficially, type N connectors look a lot like PL259 connectors, but they're moisture resistant RF connectors useful up to 10 gigahertz. The next question, how is an LED biased when emitting light? It's forward biased. If it's turned backwards, if it's reverse bias, it won't work. It's a diode that, again, only allows current to flow in one direction, so when the current's flowing through that diode that it emits light, so it's forward biased. The next question, how does a ferrite bead or core reduce common mode RF current on the shield of a coaxial cable? And the answer is by creating an impedance in the current's path. That impedance makes it difficult for that current to move in the coax, so it reduces that common mode current. Next question, what is an SMA connector? SMA is an acronym for subminiature version A. It's a small threaded connector suitable for signals up to several gigahertz. These are used quite commonly now on VHF, UHF radios. And the last question, which of these connector types is commonly used for low frequency or DC signal connections to a transceiver? Like if you're trying to connect power, it's DC or some very low frequency AC, an RCA phono connector can be used. That's it for this question set. Thanks for joining me. Look forward to you in the next episode. 73, this is KE7CR.